So <laughs> it's day five and we've arrived at our campsite. The kids are plugged in. Hi kids. Oh hi. Oh hi. hi. Um, and we're just cooking tea with a beer, thanks to Russ and Nick who delivered a beer to the campsite that we're staying at tonight. Playing chef tonight. What are you cooking, Daddy? Well, tonight. What am I cooking? I got some uh, new potatoes in there on the boil, some broccoli, some garlic, salt, some peas that defrosted yesterday. I'm not sure what that's going to be. I'm going to put one in a pot with some white wine. I've got some chicken, we have chicken burgers, and then we've got some fire pot posh beans. I think we're going to have. Well, it works out well, doesn't it? It would be fine. And the wind's picking up. Just what we want. As you can see, it's a bit wet and murky out there, but that's fine. It all adds to the venture. Uh, my navigation skills came into question again today because uh, I missed the uh, campsite and we drove all the way through St. Colin Major. I wish we was driving. <laughs> cycled all the way through constant column major. Having not having to, we should have actually stopped at the start and picked up the campsite. But hey ho, we're about an extra four miles ahead of where we were aiming and for. And we've got our rest day on Tuesday. And we're planning our rest day on Tuesday. So if anybody knows of any accommodation in the Wadebridge area that's available for two nights, Monday to Wednesday. That solid walls, not that canvas. <laughs> that is a Airbnb, a caravan, a wooden hut. Anything that we can just chill out in for two a day and a half whilst we rest up, ready for the next week, uh, that would be great. Uh, you know where we all are, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram, all our videos will be updated. If you've got any questions about what we're doing, why we're doing it, maybe not ask that tonight. <laughs> Sitting in the pouring rain in the middle of a field just outside uh, St Evel. Um, but it's great, we found a nice little campsite actually, it's quite quiet. We cook our tea, it's got a bar, it's got a games room, it's got showers, it's got toilets, what else do we need? It's a bit better than uh, wild camping in a field, so... Definitely getting heavier. That rain is getting heavier, yeah. Um, yeah, that sunroof. Not the window. And what's the weather doing? I think I'm right, I'm under a bush. <laughs> I think the midges are eating me, but apart from that, I'm all right. That's the boys' Cheers. tent over there, that's the bachelor pad. Boys? No, that's not, you've got Sophia tonight. Oh no, who's too agreed to that? Uh, I've got Liam tonight, so let's hope he doesn't snore. Actually, I think I've got the better end of the deal. Right, I think that's enough of an update for now. We'll uh, leave you all to it. And uh, thank you to everybody who's sending us comments and messages. It's greatly appreciated. Oh, we're yeah. hoping to over the next well, we <laughs> couple of days that we're uh, going to hit the 100 mile marker. Which, considering we only hit 50 in Truro yesterday, is quite uh, mental. So, yeah. Perfect. Speak to you all soon. Thanks for your support, guys. Bye. Massively.